And in New Jersey, they've got a law in the books that says as soon as a smart gun comes to market, that's the only type of firearm that can be sold in the state of New Jersey. Uh, gun control advocates, by the way, are making the case that uh, that's the reason why we haven't seen a smart gun come to market. I don't think that's the reason. I think there are some real problems inherent with the technology. But uh, Michael Bloomberg, School of Public Health at Johns Hopkins University, uh, doing a study into uh, how much people want a smart gun. And what they found is that most people support the sale of them, as long as there are other options available, but they're not too interested in actually purchasing one. And those who are most interested in purchasing a quote-unquote smart gun uh, are those who already uh, undertake steps like having a gun safe and uh, you know things of that nature, uh, which is interesting. So they, one of the uh, researchers noted, designers of personalized guns appear to be targeting individuals who would not have otherwise bought a gun, but may consider doing so if they thought the gun was safe. The introduction of personalized guns in the U.S. market could increase the number of firearms in a home. Given what we know, says the anti-gun researcher, about exposure to firearms and risk of suicide, the potential unintended consequences of personalized guns warrant further examination. So we might actually be seeing gun control advocates cool on the idea of smart guns because the, the, they're, they're being marketed to individuals who are not gun owners right now. And gun control advocates, despite how much they may say they, they support the Second Amendment, at the end of the day, they are not in favor of you or I or anybody else legally owning a firearm. Now, if they could enact us not owning a gun via a legislative ban, they'll try that. If they have to use cultural pressures, they'll do that too. But their end goal is a society in which we don't have a culture of lawful gun ownership, even if that means we don't own their favorite gun of all, the quote-unquote smart gun. And by the way, some of this B-roll, this is ridiculous. This is from Bloomberg. Can you imagine plugging in your gun to your computer via a USB cable? I don't know about you. My cables last about two months before they will randomly all of a sudden stop working. I don't want something that I use to protect my life, the life of my family members, to not work because I can't plug it into my laptop when I need it to be effective. So again, I have no problem with people trying to develop these smart guns, but I have yet to see one that I would actually spend my money on.